Harry's wife, 102.41. Traitors. They've sided with Netflix. Hello. I'm H.G. Tudor, continuing to utilise material to enable you to understand more about narcissism. As always, I leave it for you to determine the veracity of the material I provide you with the appropriate analysis. We turn to the Daily Express with an article by Ollie Smith which tells us Harry and Harry's wife's Archwell team side with Netflix in clash with Sussex's expert claim. Prince Harry and Harry's wife's own Archwell producers have teamed up with Netflix against the Sussexes, according to a royal expert. Of course, if this is true, this has the potential to either wound or be challenged fuel, dependent upon the method by which it's conveyed to Harry's wife. The article explains this comes amid a reported standoff between Netflix and the Sussexes after Harry and Harry's wife wanted to re-edit their documentary series in the wake of the Queen's death. However, Netflix have hit back, according to royal experts, and have argued against making cuts. US-based royal commentator Kinsey Schofield told Talk TV that producers hired by Harry's wife and Harry have taken Netflix's side in the standoff. Sources had previously told Page Six in the United States that Harry and Harry's wife were trying to push the series' release to 2023. Talk TV host Christo explained the dispute, saying, Netflix are furious. They are still wondering how on earth they are going to present this documentary series. Netflix has been following them around for God knows how long, and wanting a juicy documentary out of it. But since the death of the Queen, Harry and Harry's wife are saying, we should re-edit the documentary. So, what on earth is the point of Netflix spending all this money if it will just be a, wait for it, beige documentary? Oh dear. The Duchess of Industrial Beige, who likes to wear beige, and of course is beige, is now infecting the documentary to make it beige. Not good. The article continues. Ms. Schofield responded, What you didn't mention is that Harry's wife and Prince Harry's own production company, Archwell, which is producing this series, are teaming up with Netflix against Harry and Harry's wife. If this is correct, this of course is demonstrative of the mindset of Harry's wife, in that... She thinks that she's an expert, but she's actually not. That she believes that she knows best about so many things, but actually she does not. And people who are actual experts look at the behaviours and what she suggests and say, no, that's not appropriate, that's not going to run. Now, of course, when somebody does that with Harry's wife, they provide challenge fuel, and invariably she responds with ignited fury when it's behind closed doors, as the various members of the Buckingham Palace staff have alleged in relation to the way that she had bullied them. She, occupying a position by virtue of married status, believes that they should do what she wants without question. And when somebody didn't do something fast enough, quick enough, or the way that she wanted it done, then that, of course, subconsciously threatened her sense of control, her ignited fury arose, and she lashed out at those individuals. Here, even though it's their production company, these experts look upon the behaviour, what is being done, and say, no, this isn't appropriate. We're experts. We have pride in our craft, and we don't want it going down this route. In the same way that undoubtedly many stylists have said to Harry's wife, I don't think looking like Kermit going to church is going to be in your favour, or looking like some white goods on a stage at a COVID vaccination rally. Not such a good look, but she won't listen, because she knows best. But now there appears to be open rebellion, whilst there's not been, as far as I'm aware, any stylists taking two news articles saying, I tried to tell her that her hat looked like a poo emoji, but she just simply wouldn't listen to me. Or I did point out that she looked like a teacup by Roald Dalton, and that people undoubtedly would laugh at her for this, but she simply said, I look fantastic, fuck you. There hasn't been anybody taking to that, but here 
it would appear, if this report is accurate, that the production company, the experts there, are speaking out about it. The article continues by explaining, They are saying they think this is good to go, that they don't want to make these edits. They are saying, let's not make these cuts, it's unnecessary. Let's stream it as it is now. It's the Archwell producers that Harry and Harry's wife hired, and Netflix against Harry and Harry's wife. Christo joked that the producers would be out of a job for going against their bosses, Harry and Harry's wife. The production was set to be aired in December, according to Page Six in the US, just a month after the fifth season of The Crown was released. An industry source told Page Six, A lot of conversations are happening. I hear that Harry and Harry's wife want the series to be held until next year. They want to stall. I wonder if the show could even be dead in the water at this point. Do Harry and Harry's wife just want to shelve this thing? Ms. Schofield previously claimed that Netflix has invested way too much in the Sussexes for this project to be shelved. You don't say. She explained, Harry and Harry's wife might not love the final product, but it will inevitably hit the streaming platform. The streaming giant would be humiliated if nothing came to fruition with their partnership. The Sussexes earned a ludicrous amount of money for their relationship with Netflix, and the hype around their content has been non-stop. Open rebellion, perhaps, then, by the production team. Not a good thing for Harry's wife or Harry, and, of course, would result in a response which would be done for the purposes of asserting control over them, and probably in a rather harsh exhibition of ignited fury. But let's dip below the line, because there's plenty of comments that have been filed by the good burgers of the Daily Express. Casual Carlos comments, Netflix should produce a new drama about how an infamous pair of grifters conned a multi-billion dollar global company. It would be a blockbuster. Washing Machine replies to that, the con company still haven't cottoned on to why so many have left even now, over a year later, undoubtedly referring to subscribers. Suti61, I think it should be shown how they intended it to be shown when the Queen was alive. Let's see what they were going to use against a 96-year-old woman. Risen son, yes, as sad as it is, I believe we'll see a lot of what they've been up to, particularly the time spent with Her Majesty. C2D Barmer I can't see the documentary being anything more than another platform to tell the world how badly they've been treated by their families, especially the royal family. It's all about the smear campaign they actively engage in to do as much damage to the royal family as possible. When I see them, all I see are two privileged adult children who will stop at nothing to get what they want, no matter the hurt that it may cause others. I am from the United States and find it hard to say this, but I wish they would lock themselves away in their luxurious Monty Shit Show mansion and leave the royal family alone. Use your Sussex titles if it will enable you to make enough money to rub elbows with the elite. But not a word should be spoken about the royal family ever. Or, if you do, be ready to forfeit your titles and see the doors of opportunity slam in your face. You are like an annoying drip that just won't stop. Helen J55 I think that the Netflix programme should go ahead in its original form. That way, the royals will know exactly what this objectionable pair is capable of. Then, they should be completely ignored and never trusted again. They are completely motivated by greed, jealousy and self-aggrandizement, with no compassion for their respective families for the pain they have caused. So much for being philanthropists. The royals should not give in to their psychological blackmail. Sometimes you have to walk away from toxic family members in order to survive and move forward. Ex-Britain in Canada. This is quite simply a PR exercise from Migraine and Has Been. We tried to change it and stop things, but our own production team sided with Netflix, and no matter how hard we protested, we couldn't stop it going ahead. So you can't blame us when it's released. Do they really think that the rest of the world is this naive? They made this series there to blame when all the vitriol and lies come spewing forth. Not Netflix, not the Archwell production team, quite simply the Markles. Money is their reason. Twitchy, I'm certain that if I refused to act in accordance with my employer's legal job-related requirements, I would no longer have a job. Well, Shant, could this yet be another way of seeking leverage over the royal family? Pay us out of this contract and give us dollars, or unfortunately we have no choice. If so, seems very desperate and very high risk and very likely to backfire. 
big time. Rare Flower response to that, I doubt it. Charles and William are at the helm now with Street Smarts. Catherine and Camilla, the soft touch granny, is gone. Roflar, they will have to rent a stadium for celebration and declare a bank holiday when the titles are finally removed from them. Truth to power, Netflix have clearly invested in this project and will expect a return for that investment. It's sensible that they should sue Harry and Harry's wife to return their money plus any losses that occur. It seems highly likely that Harry and Harry's wife have filled the videos with lies and deceit. Clearly, they must be held responsible, even if that means prison time for fraud. Didn't Harry's wife's mother have experience of that? Metal, Metal King so it was okay to put it out while the Queen was alive, but they want to tone it down now, and they said they loved and respected the Queen. Horrible, malicious, selfish pair. Metal King, they are running out of allies everywhere. Metaphysical, Harry and Harry's wife made their bed. They'll have to sleep in it. And on it goes, hundreds of comments in a similar vein, which demonstrate the contempt with which Harry and Harry's wife are being held, and the fact that it's believed that they've basically told lies and been deceitful in the Netflix video and are attempting a vault fast. Now there is a risk that is going to blow up in their faces. Naturally, we shall see if it does come out later this year, or whether it's pushed back to next year and see who wins this battle of wills. But... Whatever it contains, undoubtedly people are going to watch it, not because they're particularly interested in them and be supportive, but they want to watch the train wreck and also to see what scurrilous information is contained within it. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>